Hey, we're back. Welcome to Lunar, 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 Silver Star Harmony. Yes, that's the word. The word I was looking for. Ah, we need to find an inventor so that we can make like a hot air balloon. Gather our geeks and oddballs. I've talked to you. Don't worry about my brother. He blows himself and his creations up all the time. I guarantee you would have destroyed that diving machine even if you hadn't touched the switch. Trust me. Oh, that's your brother. Still feel kind of bad. We average about two explosions a month, but everyone's gotten used to it by now. Is he the inventor? Hello? I was almost finished. That's why I asked you not to touch the switch. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy, isn't it? Yeah! What's this? My blueprint? Wow, I, I was about to give up on ever seeing them again! They were stolen from you by the Thieves' Guild of Reza, but we got them back. Thank you very much. But why would Thieves be interested in blueprints for a balloon? Oh, oh well. I'll never be able to understand the criminal mind. Hand it over the balloon plans. My name is Shira, and I'm an inventor. I recently moved here so I could focus on my work. I wish I had something to give you as thanks, but we inventors tend to live hand to mouth. Sorry about that. Well, we need to get over the mountain so we can find the Red Dragon Cave. I see! Well, now that I have my blueprints back, I can build you a balloon to fly there. But to make it fly, I need a fluffy bug. What? <laughs> Realizing what I just read. And... <laughs> <laughs> and the one I had escaped into the field behind the town. Are we skinning an animal for its hide? No problem. We'll catch the bug while you build the balloon. Wonderful. I'll get started on it right away. Don't forget to ask the botanist for permission to enter the field. The I need to sew together sheets of canvas to make the balloon. Oh, I need a basket for the passengers. He's already hard at work. Can't forget strong rope to connect the basket to the balloon. And I can't forget... Okay. So the botanist is this guy. Oh, you want to catch fluffy bugs? That's fine by me, children. I like to encourage interest in entomology. But you should be aware that we have puffy bugs out there, too. And I, and even I can't tell them apart. So how are we going to tell them apart, Alex? Go into the field and explore first. We'll solve the identity crisis later. I'll open the entrance for you, and you can go into the field together. Make sure to close the gate behind you. We don't want any bugs getting out of there. Make sure to don't eat any of my crops. I'm still fiddling around with various vegetable crossbreeds. I'll like sure you know that every time someone says no, I hear yes. And I'll surely you realize that no means no. Alright, you can eat whatever you happen to find. But you should be aware that there could be some very unpleasant side effects of, an, of a digestive nature. What's that supposed to mean? Means that you really shouldn't. Okay. Man eaters. Got him. You! Puffy bug and fluffy bug. Oh, fuck you. 
Leap pollen. Okay. Healing fruit. Come back. Evil image. Killer sting. LMAO. <laughs> Alex, this has to be the biggest carrot in the history of veggies. And since bigger is better, let's take a bite. Oh, this thing tastes like a pair of mildewed socks. That's what you get for eating someone else's food without permission, greedy guts. And how do you know what your socks taste like anyway? That's why the botanist said not to eat anything out here. Carrot. Here's one of the carrots Kyle says tastes like his underwear. Now if they could just get them all to taste good, that'd be a real invention. Job. Oh, a healing ring. Alex leveled up. Proud of you. Here's some of the carrots Kyle says tastes like his underwear. Now I think it just get them all to taste real good. Oh, they all have the same dialogue. I'll level it up. <laughs> Banish Litany. Okay, me leveled up in Dao Weapon. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Perfect. There he is. Nash leveled up. A spirit hairpin. Got them. I'm here. Fluffy bug. Ah. <laughs> There we go. And there it goes. Ow. Hmm. 
There we go. Perfect. Why is that one so difficult to talk to? bangle. Hold up. I love it up. Level it up. Yeah. There we go. And off it goes. Do that one. Not yet. You, you're alone. Hey, I got money. Can I kill you this time? Like, we're alone now. I think... I think it's time. It ran away? I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I thought I thought it was over. It's like, oh, it's he's alone. We must be at the end. All right, what's gonna happen? You got nowhere to run. 
Oh no, it got away. Don't worry, no, I know how to handle feisty little things. Come here, critter. We got it cornered. Oh. <laughs> got fluffy bug. By the way, Kyle, what was that remark about knowing how to handle feisty things? <laughs> Jess, I don't know what you're what that word means. Uh-huh. Remind me to find it for you the next time you try to put the moves on me. Not that I'm admitting to being feisty or anything. Oops. Wait a minute. Ha ha! We did it. brought the fluffy bug and just in time the balloon is complete if you would be so kind what did he need it for the fluffy bug has been installed but according to my calculations the balloon won't be completely inflated until tomorrow morning why don't you spend the night here it's not exactly luxurious but at least it's free don't worry bud compared to some of the places i've slept your house is a luxury suite i think we could all use some rest Pura, we'd be glad to stay here tonight. Luna, <laughs> is breakfast ready? But didn't you hear me? No. Hold on, Luna. I will come for you. That doesn't look inflated. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. The balloon is almost <laughs> inflated. With this baby at your disposal, you'll be able to hit up both the volcano and the frontier with ease. That's odd. Should have easily inflated overnight. I wonder what went wrong. With this, we'll never be able to get off the ground. My faith in science has been shaken. Well, for a minute there, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Well, looks like my idea was success after all. This will definitely get you where you need to go. Looks like the balloon preparations are finally complete. Are you all ready for takeoff? Hold on a second. Have an error to run? Please hurry. Da, 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 da. Wait, what did he say? Please hurry. I don't know how much longer the balloon will stay inflated. Well, that's unsettling. 
I'm just gonna save beforehand. We're all level 28. Honestly, I think we're actually kind of over-leveled. I'm not 100% sure. None of the enemies have really been challenging. Ready when you are. All aboard, everyone. Plenty of room for five people and one animal. He's on my head. I hope the red dragon isn't too intimidated by my good looks. This doesn't look very different from steering a ship, so I'll, so I'll take the controls. I'm not sure how I feel about flying without the use of magic, but... Don't you think this will be great fun, Nash? Sure, Mia, if you say so. Okay, here we go. Rise. Yahoo! Never thought the darn contraption would fly to begin with. Now that's what I call a success. It's not hot at all inside this volcano, Alex. What's going on? Maybe the volcanic activity is an illusion of magic. But what a powerful illusion. The power of the red dragon, of course. Althena's guardians are only slightly less powerful than the goddess herself. Hmm. Real quick, I got a couple of things that, uh... Hmm. Ooh, you can do the crystal dangle. Okay, it's only for you. Spirit hairpin. Only for you. Okay. And then we have a healing ring. Hmm. I assume that hurts. Nothing over there. Goblins! <laughs> Blob slime. That's a bit redundant. Uh, okay. damage. Massive damage. Chest over there. Mm. Fire wisps. Blob Slime Burners. Kill. Wow. 
Starlight. Or... Another starlight. I was gonna look at it, but okay. Yo. Only you can wear it. For ladies only. Uh, Radiant Multi-Hued Crown. Plus three to defense. Interesting. Come. That's a lot. Dead? Yeah. 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 Scorpions. Alex leveled up to twenty nine. Starlight. Yo, I can't believe I got past them. I'm incredible. <laughs> A lot of slimes. Got him. I leveled up. And just attack. Jessica leveled up. Barrier ring. Magic and regular defense up. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That's useful. Magic defense and defense up. Fuck okay, it, yeah. Let's do that. Um, should someone have the regular defense ring, though? I don't... You get the protection ring. Like, what's your luck like anyway? Hang on. Equip. 18, 25. 
you literally have the worst luck anyway. So I think it's fine. Me a load up. Perfect. Kill them. Two thousand. Uh, yeah, bonus starlight. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with stuff that restores my MP. I just have to be willing to use it more often. <laughs> That was, was that the revive one? Yes, one time auto revive. Uh, I think I'm okay. This is flash cut, electro shower, attack, blizzard attack. And we're good. Uh, would this be the end? I do not know. Let's... Healing Herb. Didn't mean to heal you, but that's fine. I have 20 Starlights. That's fine. Just in case it's the end. It is not the end. Okay. Oh! 
You who seek to test your mettle in the dragon trial, heed my words. Are you the red dragon? If you wish to claim my power, your bravery must be demonstrated for all to witness. Move forward without fear, and I shall embrace you within the warmth of my presence. This is the trial? He healed me? Oh my god, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I can't believe I decided to use restoratives. You know what? That makes me... Hang on. It makes me upset. It makes me upset, and I want to... I want to do this. <laughs> I'm glad I saved right beforehand. You seek to heal me. Thank you. Okay. I prefer this much better. <laughs> Good job. Ten thousand silver. Okay. Man, don't give me a choice. Oop. Am I just supposed to run across? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Doesn't this ever end? Wait, what's that? What the hell is that? Don't let your guard down, Alex. Okay, this seems like something. Let's save again. Oh, come on. Such impudence. Couldn't you at least have the courtesy to wait until I had a proper trap prepared? You're really wearing my nerves thin, honey bo Honey bo <laughs> I think it's time you left. If only it were that easy for you, my cross-dressing foe. I'm not going anywhere. Then perhaps we'll just have to show you the door. I'm afraid I don't have the time to enjoy your quasi-adorable antics. If my little pets here do their job, there won't that won't be a problem in the future. Alex, what are those things? Be careful, everyone. These guardians are made of pure magic. 
What the hell are they? Bronze dog? One is about to do a fire attack. Um, neutralize magic one. Feel magic. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Restore HP each turn. Endow weapon for Alex. Will it let me? I don't think it did. Ow. 19 damage? That's not bad. Fireball. That hurts. Yo! Dragon Guard. Okay. Everyone's decently powered up. Nice. Nice. Dine Blade. Fireball. Nice. Perfect. Okay.
Okay, one of them is down. Which means the other one should be close. Oh, what is that? That's fine. It's gonna do it again. Kill it before it does. <laughs> there we go. Four thousand experience. Just as I have foreseen, you have grown stronger, Alex. Much stronger. You've only seen the smallest part of our power, Royce. Give up now. Give up? Goodness, no. We have quite a future ahead, you and I. But I'm afraid to say the present finds us going our separate ways. Wait! I almost forgot to share your fortune with you. The red light you pursue shall shine no more, and the great black arm shall seal them all, staining them with darkness. Oh, how I love to be the bearer of bad news. Farewell, children. He's trying to be... He's trying to be brave, Alex, but I can sense her fear. She's afraid of us. The red light shall shine no more. You don't think she meant the red dragon, do you? We'd better find out. Surely there's no back-to-back -back boss. Not this early. <laughs> I should have saved. <laughs> oh, he's gone already. Maybe. Yep. It's so quiet and cold in here, Alex. No one's been here for a long time. Red Dragon, come out! Come out wherever you are! Um... Please? He's not here. The Red Dragon couldn't be out shopping, right? Which means we might be... Too late? Oh, don't even think of such a terrible thing. Whoa! Yo! You who seek to undergo the Dragon Trial. My body has been stolen by the Magic Emperor. What? That old dragon? No, it's a lady dragon. That's why you look like... I have come to you in this spiritual form to, d to impart knowledge to you. It shall not be long until my soul fades from this place for all eternity. No. This is awful. Fifteen years ago, I began a long sleep but was awakened a short time ago by a song of tremendous magical power. A song with magical power? Alex, you have overcome my dragon trial. Your bravery was demonstrated when you crossed the wall of magic flame. Your power has been made evident, but it is not a singular power. You have the power to protect your loved ones and to destroy the evil of this world. The future, as Althena and Dine envisioned it, has been entrusted to you. I have grown weary. The time has come for me to rest. Red Dragon! Shed not your tears for me, Nal. For you see, my soul is immortal. And one day, we shall meet again in the future yet to come. Too horrible. I 
Can't stop crying. Oh no. Alex, it looks like the red dragon shield is shimmering. Got Dragon Shield. You did it, Alex. You got the Red Dragon Shield. You're halfway to becoming the Dragon Master. The Dragon Master. Equip that. I think I need to be the Dragon Master before it lets me equip stuff. No, I can equip it right now! Why can't I equip the ring yet? <laughs> we should probably return to Illuk. Clown music. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to start carnival music at the beginning. Hmm, that's strange. I don't like the tone of your voice, Jess. Um, why, pray tell, are we floating down rather than up? Um, actually, it feels more like falling than floating. Don't panic. Everything is under control. Let me just press this button, okay? Now we can panic. I knew this was the job. Man, not a woman. Jesus Christ, my life is flashing before my eyes. Hold on, Alex, everyone. I'll see if I can soften the landing. At least I have, a, I have a big target. We've been waiting. Ready and lift. <laughs> they stole it. They stole our damaged air balloon. <laughs> hmm. That didn't hurt as much as I expected. Think for yourself. I hurt plenty. Is everyone okay? What does it look like, Null? We aren't the ones with the wings. Wait, is this Reza? Oh, there, you're alive! As soon as I heard the crash and looked outside, that was n I knew it was you, kid. I'm just glad none of you got hurt. At least not badly. Actually, I think one of my wings is hyperextended. And he and he's gone. Alex, you're back. Did you meet the Red Dragon? I see. Damn the Vile Tribe. What happened to the air balloon? <laughs> I knew that crazy contraption was going to crash. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, of course. I'm glad you weren't hurt. Well, Alex, while you were making an impact crater in the middle of Reza, I heard that the bridge you destroyed in Muriad was fixed. First a bridge, then a balloon. That sets like a trend. Ho ho ho! Time for you to cross over to the Stratius, Stadius region, Alex, and to seek the Blue Dragon in his temple. Walk through Muria Yard and make your way to the Stadius region. That's where you'll find the Blue Dragon Temple. Good luck with the remaining dragons, Alex, because you're gonna need it to find them. Ho ho ho! It was quite a performance you put on today. Will there be another crash later this afternoon, perchance? Only when I have Alex toss you through the nearest window. I carried your air balloon off to the Thieves' Bazaar right after you crashed. Pretty quick, huh? But who's going to buy a broken air balloon? It doesn't matter if something's broken or not. Thieves will steal anything not nailed down. Are you alright? Where's Lily? I'm so sorry, but she wasn't in the Red Dragon Cave. 
Oh. Oh, Lily. Don't worry, we'll save her. Her and Luna both. At least we know that the Vile Tribe needs to keep Lily and the other girls alive. But it's so frustrating not being able to help her, knowing how scared she must be. You're the children who fell out of the sky. The people of Razor will be talking about that for years to come. I always desired fame, but this isn't how I intended to achieve it. This is pathetic. When the flying contraption fell out of the sky, I tried to get it together a group. But another team took it away before I'd managed to organize my friends. Like I wanted that dumb thing anyway. I think I need to send my men here for training in the art of efficiency. Why couldn't I have gotten that thing? Anything that flies through the air has to be worth a fortune. You guys are the Taco Razor after the air balloon crash, you know? Surprised you were able to survive a fall from that height. Yeah, yeah, no need to worry. We had just as ample bottom to cushion the landing. You guys are the Taco... I heard about the bridge you guys destroyed in Muriad. It's fixed! Great! Now I can get to Tamur. I heard that there are merchants there who sell fake medicines. That'll be a huge challenge for the guild. Nothing's more enjoyable than taking from the bad guys. Trust me. Did I talk to you? Yes, I will. Yes, I did. I want to go to the bazaar and see if the balloon is just down there. Damn, I'm so upset that it's not just down here. When you kids hit up the Red Dragon Cave, I bet you clean house there, didn't you? I should have flown there with you and stolen my share. One ride in that thing, and I'm sure you would have regretted your decision immediately. I wonder if these have updated guys have updated stock. We've got armor, we've got shield. No. Nope. And nope. Okay. Uh, dragon. Oh, I could sell stuff actually. I'll keep that. Okay. Alrighty. I'm plum tickling pink after our bridge being rebelled after y'all busted it. Now I can finally get back to Lynn to listen to our beautiful music. I am not talking to all these guys again. Geez, that moron was hitting on Mia before, but now he's trying to pick up another girl. I got to say nothing about my love life, kid cat. You're nothing about it. Yeah, right. Okay, whatever. Come on now, do I have to beg to shut you up about my little side orders? Cousin or no, I ain't taking no double talking man back if you've been cheating with the stew Bob Betty Joe Cunningham. Some fella done told me that the um, blue dragon temple is some legend over here. I went to check it out, but all I found was some weird folks ain't funny. Alex, we should head north here and check that out. I don't know, baloney. No, I never heard of it before. Exactly. Baloney is wonderful on sandwiches, and Mia, I, I think she. I mean, yes, baloney is delicious. Good heavens! I'm so happy to find a fish and weapons and light to sell. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to cut him cold. What can I do for you? Okay. Two warrior swords. Surge Mace, Great Bow, Wisdom Staff. There goes a shit ton of my money.
And there we go. I'll come back now real soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Forbidden Woods. Summer Pass. Litton. It's the moon! <laughs> it's the moon! It's just the fucking moon! I fucking knew it! It's the moon! It's the moon! <sighs> okay. Let's go to the town real quick. Before we go to any of the down dungeons, let's go to the town. What is that awful noise? Sounds kind of like a song, but whoever's playing it has a serious case of tone deafness. Do you think stuffing shards of glass into my ears would help to stop the bleeding? What are you people talking about? This song is great! In fact, I'm gonna sing along. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Now my ears and my nose hurt. That's quite enough of that, Kyle. Have you no shame? Welcome to the town of Leighton. Ah, it's no use. I've been trying to sing since I moved here, but I have the voice of a horse chipmunk. Everyone here has been patient, but I could tell they want to cover their ears whenever I open my mouth. I'm Noll. I love fish. Lytton was right. Singing is a lot harder than it seems. People of Lytton have lost the ability to sing, and it's taking a huge toll on everyone here. It's no big deal for me, of course. I'm the only one in this village who can't carry a tune. Interesting. So, like, people can't sing here. Boring, boring, boring. I want to sing. I want to send my voice into the heavens as an offering to the goddess Athena. I never feel truly alive unless I can sing. But without the music of the world, I can only sulk inside this hut. Aren't you bored? It's so boring. I'm so bored that I can barely stand it. I need to get out of here. I need to sing. Uh... I dreamt of a green-eyed boy coming to Leeton. He seeks the blue dragon. He seeks to become a dragon master. Sounds like you're the boy of her dreams, Alex. In my dream, the green-eyed boy met the blue dragon. But then everything suddenly went dark. It was as if someone didn't want me to see what happened next. Look at this cat. Meow meow. Looks like this little guy hates the music too. Poor kitty. Welcome to Leeton. The melody that you hear is being composed by the wind itself. But I wish you would come at a time when it truly was a melody instead of an excruciating cacophony. Monsters have made a home within the Wind Shrine and disrupted the music it produces. That is why our village is being bombarded by that horrific noise. Oh no, I don't have any weapons. The Elder forbid their sale within the village limits. I do, however, have plenty of armor available at reasonable prices. Ooh. I think that's a lot. Thanks for coming. No one wants to play outside with me because of this stupid song. I told my dad to fix it, but he's too old and weak. He'd wet himself if he saw a monster. Let 
Melody of the Wind and the Earth Song are precious gifts from the goddess Althena. Does the fact that these songs are in Discord mean that something has happened to Althena? In the village of Leeton, our lives and our songs are joined together. If we lose one, we lose them both. Leeton is a town alive with song and with music and magic. We rarely even speak to one another without singing. The song of the wind and the earth are at odds. Without them to guide our harmony, we can barely find the will to carry on. Our shrine has been invaded by a horde of monsters. They are the cause of the wind's discord. But we in Leeton know nothing of the art of fighting. We only know of the art of music. My father is the elder of the village. Please listen to what he has to say. That magnificent man over there is the elder of Leeton, my husband, and he needs your help. In exchange, he can give you the information you desire. I can see the questions already on your lips. Alright, so that's progress, probably. Is this the Wind Shrine? Yo, this be the Wind Shrine of Leeton, filled with ugly monsters, oh so frightening. I wish we be we'd be driving them away soon, but we can't find them, so instead we pray. Like the legend does say, your eyes is green, and I hope when you fight you get real mean. There's still people. Ah, you know open door! Monsters come out, monsters eat your face! Why don't we leave the door alone before the green haired guy eats our face off? About the only thing we can do is keep guard at the entrance to the village and keep the monsters out. Anything more than that is a little beyond our power. I told the Elder of my limited skill and strength as a fighter, but he was still grateful for my help. I just hope I'm able to justify his faith in me when the time comes. The three of us are here to prevent monsters from escaping, but we are at our wit's end. In times past, the Wind Shrine was completely devoid of monsters, but what could have brought this about? Wind Shrine is a sacred place. Always make beautiful earth song. Why monsters go inside there and hurt it? Why'd he start speaking caveman? Monsters inside the shrine are the ugliest creatures this side of my ex-wife. No way we can fight them. Listen, I want to help the people of this village, but I don't want to die doing it. I came to hear the earth song of Leeton, but the monsters in these parts are furious. Or is it ferocious? Ferocious. wind of the valley flows into our shrine and is reborn as the earth song of Leeton. The monsters have invaded the shrine and corrupted our sweet song. We cannot fight them and we cannot sting. We want more than anything to restore the earth song of Leeton, but we are unable to fight the monsters. Hmm. Child. I don't want to hear this noise anymore. I can't sing, and it's agonizing. This is no fun at all. Why won't this sound ever stop? I think my head's going to explode. Please, for the love of Althena, stop this torturous noise. What the hell's up here? Oh, is this the lake? I think this is the lake. Okay. Hello, Elder. My green-eyed friend, I have waited many cycles of the Blue Star for your arrival in Leeton. But you have come here at the worst possible time. None of us can sing. None of us can express our joy. He's talking to you like he knows you, Alex. Alex, so that is your name. We never learned it in our dreams. Do you hear that awful music, Alex? Of course you do. Coming from the Wind Shrine, our ancestors built in the heart of the wind-swept valley near the village. Our song is the melody of the wind, and the wind which flows through the valley is the earth song of Leeton. Monsters have appeared in the shrine and affected the music, and we don't have the resources to fight them. This village has lived in peace since it was built hundreds of years ago. We know nothing of conflict. Combat. A cave filled with monsters. You've already cleaned out a few of those, haven't you, Alex? Yes, he has, and I'm sure he could clean this one out too. But we don't have to waste time slaying. We don't have time. We have. But we don't have to waste time slaying mangy monsters for a hapless bunch of lounge singers. 
Not, not when we still don't know where to find the blue dragon. Ah, uh, just as in the dream, you seek to become the Dragon Master. You don't need to go anywhere to find the blue dragon, Alex. We are its protectors. He can be summoned only during our festival. But without our song, we can't get festive about anything. <laughs> that makes our choice a whole lot easier. So what do we do next, old man? There's an entrance to the shrine on the east side of the village. Go inside and explore until you find the place where our song is created. Restore it and return here. There's nothing I want more than to help you fulfill your destiny, my green-eyed friend. But we cannot call the blue dragon forth until our song is restored. Alrighty. Monsters. Hobgoblin and Giga Ants. Brain bomb, ow. These guys have like a lot of defense, it seems. I guess. There's something in my eye. Already. Oh shit. Incinerate with, fl with flames. Dragon Wrath. Ow, my eyes. Alright, well that's... That's that. Brain bomb. Good. 
Hmm. Oh shit. Who is Sage Robes? It is Jess Nash. Knit with knowledge. Oh, I'm back at the start. This is not going to be fun, is it? These Giga Ants, like, aren't strong, but they have, like, a, either a ton of HP or a ton of defense. And it makes them... Evil Eye. Ow. in silver. Yo! Brain bomb. Brain bomb. Brain bomb. Okay. Okay. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Bark eyes. Evil eye. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Evil eye, ow. Evil eye. Thank you, Nash. Or not Nash. Null, the other N. Hello, hello. Starlight.
they really just want to beat the shit out of Kyle. And honestly, of all the characters, like, yeah, beat the shit out of <laughs> Kyle's honestly probably the worst character. At least so far. It used to be Nash, but Nash has grown on me a little bit. Nash has eaten enough humble pie to not be as annoying as Kyle currently is. I should have healed him. Does Kyle have something on? Does Wrath Ring make enemies target Kyle? I have no idea. Thank you. Hoping for that. Damn it. Fucking shit. You know what? I, I probably would have accidentally entered the, the hole, so I'm glad you actually got to me. Alex leveled up. Proud of you. Fucking kidding me. Oh, I can't believe it. Of 
We're in a different area. I thought it was just going to take me back to the start. Okay, so we are back in that north room. I think I just need to go down that hole. I think. Just go, th go in here. And then there's a hole right here. Yes! It appears the wind is blowing through the holes and making musical tones. I think calling those notes musical might be stretching it a bit. Well, it's up to us to fix that. I bet if we push those rocks in front of the holes, we'll change the tune. But which holes do we cover and which do we leave open? Well, let's stop babbling about that and about what might work and try something. Why don't we just push some rocks and see what happens? I just push, I can. Oh my god. I didn't think about it until I already did it. Okay. So just so I don't accidentally do that again. Hey Alex, is it me or is the music a little better? Really? It still sounds awful to me. No, it's different. I think we've almost got it. Keep trying. Okay, it's just that guy then. Ah, what beautiful music. We fixed it, Alex. It sounds so lovely. 
And it's definitely worlds apart from the braying voice of someone I need not mention. Well, why don't you just shut up and get out of my face? Okay. So we did it. Alright, it looks like we'll be able to meet the blue dragon. Let's go talk to the elder, Alex. Well done, children. The people of Leeton clamor with excitement, and I plan to join the festivities. I knew my fighting skills needed improvement, but to be shown up by you children was embarrassing. So this is the Song of Leeton, huh? Nice. Not worth the five days it took me to travel here, but nice. Y'all be fixing the Earth Song of Leeton. Now we celebrate your awesome fighting. When the Blue Dragon hears us getting down, he might be marching into our hometown. What do you think of the wind and earth songs of Leeton? Aren't they aren't their chords beautiful? Last time I saw the Blue Dragon Temple emerge from the lake was well it was a great many years ago. That must have been Dragon Master dying before he was a Dragon Master, about to undergo the trial. According to the legend passed down in Leeton, the Blue Dragon Temple only emerges when two peoples whose hearts are filled with love for one another sing together. I wonder who Dragon Master Dine was singing with. This is so fun. It's been so long. Now we can sing and play and run in the and run in the wind that plays our song. People of Leeton can sing again. We're having a festival to celebrate the return of our sweet music. I'm so happy I might even get up the courage to sing too. Want to hear a few bars of my newest song? Have a little. I have a little tune I'd like to sing first. I am Nall. I love fish. Welcome to the town of Leeton. Rejoice to the power of song. Let the harmony wash over you. Oh, thank you. The music of the wind has returned. I can sing. Everyone in Leeton and the goddess can revel in my wonderful voice. The blue dragon loves our festival. Our music and merriment is sure to draw out his fantastic temple. Are the all caps words supposed to signify that she sucks at music, or is, or is it just supposed to be excitement? Like child excitement. The sound of Leeton has returned. The blue dragon will hear her voice of celebration and rejoice with us. And now you will be able to meet with him, green-eyed boy, just as my dream foretold. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> How about that? The cats at Leeton sing too. There is nothing more joyous of the people for the people of Leeton than to sing our voice and to send our voices riding on the melody of the wind. We also learn of many things as we hearken to the earth song, and in turn we rejoice with its sound. Everyone in Leeton is so happy once the, since the return of the melody. The mood is so joyous that we're about that we're having a festival of song to let the entire world hear our glee. You have given the people of Leeton the gift of song that was so cruelly taken from us. If ever there was a day to celebrate, this is the one. You fix Wind Shrine. I hear Earth Song of Leeton and smile. I hear great cheer of joy inside Village. You are a hero. You bring happiness back to Village. I stay here in case monsters come back, but I know they not, so I sing happy song in here all day. Welcome to Leeton Armory. I have great stuff, as you can see, and if you buy something, I'll be very happy. Not updated. Thanks for coming. Song has returned to Leeton. Joy is returned to our souls. Today is a festival of song to save the harmony we thought was lost. And we owe all, all this to you. I give thanks to you for restoring the Song of Leeton, Green-Eyed Boy. I hope you'll stay here for a while and enjoy our festivals. I love nothing more than celebrate, my friend, but we have to take care of business. I assume your business is within the Blue Dragon. You'll find him in the lake just north of here. Thank you for restoring harmony to the melody of the wind and the Earth Song of Leeton. Our entire village is celebrating the resurrection of their sound. 
Our song will surely help summon the blue dragon you seek. Everyone is singing and happy because the song of Leeton is back. But I won't sing or be happy until my dad promises to let me poke the dead monster in the shrine with a stick. Okay. So this is probably... Ooh, I need to save. Or not save, but heal. Because when this festival starts, it's probably going to send me immediately to the Blue Dragon Shrine. Just like how the hot air balloon sent me immediately to the Red Dragon Shrine. Also, two Dragon Shrines back to back. <laughs> oh, my green-eyed friend Alex, you have brought back the Earth Song to us. Now the festival can begin. We will sing songs of praise to your name for this great deed. Walk north to Leeton Lake, Alex. The Blue Dragon Temple rests beneath its placid surface. During the festival, the Blue Dragon Temple will appear before the two who offer up a song filled with love. The song of two lovers is the key to revealing the Blue Dragon Temple? How wonderful! How romantic! Maybe this is what I have been yearning for. Well then, let's go to Lake and sing! What is Nash so excited about all of a sudden, hmm? You've waited a long time for your arrival, Alex, so don't make the Blue Dragon wait for you, too. bank of this lake looks like a fine place to croon. Remember that the two lovers have to think of each other as they're singing. Oh, Alex, my voice is awful. Why don't you ask Jessica to sing instead? So, so uh, Mia, why don't we, uh, try singing together? Really, Nash? Well, all right. But I don't have very much confidence in my vocals. Nash, why are you so nervous? I thought your feelings for Mio were pretty obvious. I'm so sorry, Nash. I told you my voice was terrible. Oh no, Mia, it's not it's all my fault. I'm just too nervous to sing. Our turn, Kyle. Get up get up and come sing with me right now. Did I mention I find it strangely enjoyable when Jess bosses me around? <laughs> was that, Kyle? Did you suddenly forget you're supposed to be singing, not gargling? That was your best effort? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one who couldn't harmonize if your life depended on it. Harmony? You call your multitude of Sasquatchian groans harmony? More like excruciating pain. I don't think this is working, Alex. Not at all. What do we do now, Alex? We're never going to see the temple with singing like this. If Lunar were here to sing with you, Alex, the temple would surely appear. But... Alex, I have an idea. Why don't you play your ocarina? I know its melodic tones will reach Lunar no matter how apart you are. Okay, I'll play a song for Luna. 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 I know. Let's all sing with Luna. If we sing, we won't be afraid, and we won't cry. Oh, 
quiet, all of you. I demand it. Stop this noise I'm singing at once. You insolent little... What a beautiful song, but that's all it is. Such a pathetic attempt to control your fears. Oh, I actually have to press a button for that one. I almost pity them, sisters. Pity them? Why is that, my sister? Don't you feel the power of this song as it stirs the depths of, their, of your very soul? And the warmth which flows from the human heart? Yes, Luna. Sing! I wait in anticipation as each note brings you closer to your awakening as your true self. And on that glorious day, your voice will be the prelude which marks the beginning of my eternal dominion. This reminds me of all the times I listened to Luna's song at the Springs. I miss her so much. Well, there it is. You did it, Alex. The melody from your ocarina reached Luna. I knew the two of you felt the same way about each other. I heard her singing, Nal, and I felt her. It must be wonderful to be so deeply in love as Alex and Luna. I only wish a certain handsome barbarian would realize I feel the same way about him. Hey Jess, care to join the rest of us, or are you going to stay here to work on your vocals? Another word out of you, and I'll be using your face to work on my left jab. Why don't you ever notice my feelings, Kyle? Alrighty. Go. Oh. Has anyone seen a staircase? I'm afraid I haven't. It doesn't seem as though a magical seal is present either. Do you think this pool of water connects to somewhere, Alex? There's only one way to know for certain, no. Bloop. <laughs> Lizard man. Aqua genie and deep slime. Are they weak to electricity or fire? I'm going to say fire. I'm sorry, electricity. I'm going to say electricity. I meant to say electricity at first, but for some reason I said fire, because I'm an idiot. I think one thing and then say the exact opposite. Uh, they might also be weak to physical, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, restore all HP. Uh, no, just attack. In case it is fire, though, let's do this. I don't think it will be, though. I think they'll resist fire. Oop. No, those were both just critical hits. Ow. Ow. Okay, the slimes are weak to physical attacks, it seems. Ow, my eyes. Why does the best attack that you have have to be the one that hurts my eyes? Uh, 
Um, does this one just take me back up, or is this farther down? No, it's back up. Okay. I'll go down this one. Aqua Genie and Deep Slime. Honestly, they probably resist ice as well. Good. My eyes. Physical attacks will do. Yeah. What is it? A razor quill. Hero's tail. That skills. Agility up. Oh. Oh, is it a, it, it's an equip item? Oh, it's for the ring slot. Hmm. Okay. See, now I have to figure out what is progress and what is bonus. I want bonus first. Oh, that's fake. It's not real. Dragon armlet. The I don't know what's bonus. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, he just disappeared. His sprite was just gone for a moment. It was just a it was just like a sprite error. Got him. Oops.
Aqua Stream. Kill them. Spin Rush. <laughs> Alex leveled up to 32. Jessica, everyone except Nash, Ambush, got him. Lapis Tiara. Hang on. Dragon Armlet? You! Okay. Leveled up. Come on, come on. Stream. Spin around. Angel ring. Get in there. Oh, okay. There we 
There we go. Got him. Money. 10,000. Got him. Damn it. Yeah, these guys just do, like, no damage to me.
Nice. Angels tier. And then what was it? Pleiades Bangle resonates with the stars. Bangle U? Seems like it. Cool. That's the dragon entrance. Okay. Something's going to happen. Something always happens. It's so dark in here, I can barely see my paws in front of my face. Hello? Is anyone there? This room looks very pretty. Blue dragon. The wyvern. Wow. I guess it's yes. The blue dragon is really pretty, Alex. I'm impressed. <sighs> Quite a nap. Uh, hello there. This is one laid-back dragon. Hello, everyone. Well, if it isn't Lemia... What a pleasant surprise. Have you cut your hair? I... I don't mean to be rude, but I am Lemia's daughter, Mia. Really? Thunderation. That was a longer nap than I thought. So then, where is the goddess? I thought it was her song that woke me up. But then I remembered she wouldn't be able to do that anymore. What's that? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just rambling about things which are of no concern to you. I've always talked way too much. Keeping secrets was never my strong suit. Roka and Lena always said that I should be careful about what slips out of my mouth as well. Alex, those are the names of the ancient dragon masters. He's... He seems a little suspicious, but he's definitely the real deal. I see that you have the dragon wings and the shield in your possession. So, from the looks of things, you have already met my brothers, the White and Red Dragons. Tell me, young man, who seeks to become a Dragon Master? What is your name? My name is Alex, and the White Dragon has... Let's save the small talk for later. Anyway, just being here means that you've already passed the trial. If you weren't qualified to be the Dragon Master, you couldn't even have entered the temple. The blue dragon helmet which you seek lies in the room before you. Okay. I've made a path to the helmet for you. Go on and receive it into your possession. We have terrible news for you, blue dragon. The world is in grave danger. That's nothing new. The world has always been a place with ever-changing seasons of turbulence. Anyways, shake a leg and obtain your reward, Alex. Is this Alex? You don't know where to find the helmet? I thought you already went over this. It's in the room over there. Never thought I'd meet someone who talked so much as you talked as much as you, Nal. So is that supposed to be some kind of compliment or are you just being your obnoxious self? That shining light. Is it the helmet? Got the dragon helmet. 
You did it, Alex. Three dragons down, one to go. I wonder what's going to happen when you get the last piece of equipment. Alex, that noise sounded like it came from the blue dragon lair. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get back to where the blue dragon is. Now! Captured. What's going on? Where's the blue dragon? You're too late. He's already fallen into our hands. I should have expected to see you here, witch. After all, why should the Magic Emperor do his own dirty work? When you're ready and willing to wallow in the mud for him. Give up now, Fasia, and we won't have to hurt you. I don't understand why you're doing such a terrible thing. No, you wouldn't understand. You have no idea what it has been like for us to survive on the frontier. And you don't know what it will take to turn the dreams of my people into reality. The frontier? The land to which Althena banished the Vile Tribe all those ages ago? We have a right to the life that Althena has denied us. But what kind of what but what does kidnapping Luna have to do with any of this? It's just not right what you've done to her. I I'm sorry. But it was necessary for us to capture Luna and the other songstresses. I give my word that she is unharmed and will and will stay that way if you return home. Continue to interfere with the Emperor's plan and you place her life in jeopardy. Looks as though I've been a bit too careless for my own good. Oh, it seems I've been a bit too careless for my own good. It's unthinkable that Galleon, who was with Dine, sworn allegiance to Althena until the very end, could commit such a dastardly act. Galleon, how could you be blinded by your own reasoning? How could you plot to shatter the dreams of the goddess and your loyal friend Dine? Galleon, you mustn't awaken the... of Athena, who will wreak havoc and destruction upon Lunar. Alex... Alex, can you hear me? Yes. Alex, I beg of you. Become the Dragon Master. And protect the goddess from Galleon. It was 15 years ago. She forsook all her power. No. No. Alex, we can never forgive Galleon for what he's done. Never. I'm going to exact revenge for the dragons, for hurting it, for everyone Galleon's hurt. No. If the dragons can't even stand up to the threat of the magic emperor, then what are we supposed to do? We all mourn the loss of the blue dragon, but we know his soul is eternal, and we will meet again. We shall offer solace to the soul of the blue dragon as we continue to celebrate this festival today. The blue dragon likes happy songs, so that's why we sing them for him at our festival. What do you think of the Wind and Earth songs of Leeton? Aren't their chords beautiful? I heard about the blue dragon and I mourn his loss, but I do so with songs instead of tears. That is our way. Today's festival is for the soul of the blue dragon. You will hear our voices shine and soar. We still intend to sing many happy songs in honor of the blue dragon. 
You would have wanted it that way. Everyone's singing quietly for the blue dragon. Hey, you're the ones who killed him, aren't you? Alex, we too felt the loss of the blue dragon, but don't mourn his passing. For I know that just as our song returned to us, so shall the soul of the blue dragon. The black dragon to the east now awaits your coming. Go now, my green-eyed friend. Your goal is firmly within your grasp. When your spirits are low, Alex, just remember the melody of the wind and the earth song of Leeton. These strains are a gift from the goddess Althena, and will grant you strength when you stand in need. The dragon may be dead, but his soul ain't gone. We be watching you close all your life long. People of Leeton can sing again. We're having... Okay. What the hell is the Forbidden Wood? Forbidden? I heard there's some place really cool in the woods where the monsters are really strong. They're supposed to be so powerful you can't even scratch them. Until they get a load of some Kyle action, I'll show them some scratch in action. Wonder what kind of place the monsters would be guarding in here. It must be really great. Them talking about how powerful all of them are, is that supposed to hint at me not coming here? I'm scared, let's find out. Ambusher. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're leaving. <laughs> okay. I think we gotta wait on that guy. <laughs> Unless these guys are also powerful. Let's find out. Octoplant. No, these guys are so much easier to handle, and they do so much less damage. Okay, the Forbidden Forest is, like, a late dungeon. Or maybe an optional dungeon. I actually don't know if this game has optional dungeons. I don't think it does. It's a very early RPG. Like, this is the PSP remake, but, like, this is from the Sega CD, if I remember correctly. Like, it is a very... Ooh, Dragon Healing. Restores HP to max to all. Cool. Got him. Danger ahead, turn back. Freakers. Danger, falling rocks. Uh, 
treasure ahead. Secret passage. Secret passage. Where? Needle shot. Helmet for the unhinged. <laughs> See, which way is bonus? I feel like this way is bonus. Fleet Fang. Gut Shot. Gut Shot. Healing Fruit. Secret Passage. Thing. Gut shot.
Got him. Danger ahead. Turn back. Hero's Tale. Range of movement up. Spore. Gale Staff. Danger falling rocks. Okay, less wisdom, but more agility and strength. Needle shot. Needle shot. Needle shot. Needle shot. Just a little farther to to Tamur, hang in there. You're fine. Uh oh. Oh come on, Zenobia, you filthy wench! Come here and let me wrap my hands around your scrawny neck. The only physical contact you'll have with me, little man, is when I stomp on the head of your cold, rotting corpse. Your search with a black dragon ends here, Alex. As does your pathetic attempt to become a dragon master. Come forth, my minions. Bone Knight and Dark Sorcerer. White wave. All right. There we go. That was easy. 
and feel like a boss. This is your final hour, Zenobia. I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father. You And don't bother begging for mercy, because you'll get none. The thought of me begging for forgiveness from an inept priest of such as yourself. Don't make me laugh. The vile tribe will stomp all of your tattered remains before that day ever comes. Here they are again. Bone Knight, Dark Sorcerer. Just more, more Dragon Wrath, Electro Attack, Blizzard. Green Wave. Got him. Come on now. We can't keep this up much longer, Jess. No matter how many we kill, they just keep coming. One more round and that little worry will no longer be a relevant concern. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Enjoy what little remains of your life, Alex, or it won't be spared next time. Who in Althena's name is that? They hit the Vile Tribe with their arrows from that great a distance? Do any of you realize how incredible that is? But who are they, and why'd they leave without saying a word to us? Tamar just... Tamar just ahead. Hey. Hi, welcome to Tamur. As the official village greeter, let me be the first to say howdy-do and how are you. So what brings you to our wonderful corner of the world? Welcome to Tamur, although there might may be nothing more than nature itself, the scenic vista is unrivaled. I helped my grandma move here after grandpa passed away. I thought she should spend the rest of her days in a peaceful place far away from the noise of the city. But now I find out the vile tribe of the frontier has been sighted near here several times recently. The monsters have reappeared. The monsters have appeared in the lost woods. I think it's time to move again. I brought Grandpa here because I was I thought it was Grandma here because I thought it was safe. I was wrong. No place is safe these days. I wish my grandson would accept nature for what it is and shut his whiny little cake hole. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but the little moron makes my, gets my bloomers in a bunch. I never wanted to move here in the first place, but my grandson insisted it would do me good. Wrong! I've been miserable since we arrived in this godforsaken town. Never wanted to move here in the first place, but my grandson insisted it would do me good. Wrong! I've been miserable since we arrived. Welcome to our general store, where service is a slogan. Action ring. Thank you for your patronage and enjoy your non-refundable purchases. <laughs> a pub? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamur is quiet. Tamur is close to nature. Tamur is perfect. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't hear... I didn't move here for any of that. I moved here because the liquor is so good it makes my spine quiver. If this booze was any better, I might become a stinking drunk. Oh wait, I already am! Oops. 
I always come here after work and wind down with a cold brew and a tasty drumstick. Althena should have quit after she made beer and chicken, because nothing could be more perfect. First beer is always good, but the second one is always better. I don't drink, but I like to come in and hang out with my friends after a hard day's work. Besides, what else would I do? Go home and spend time with my wife? Thank Voltor Athena for blessing me with such good friends and such a good job. As for my wife, well, I'm sure even the goddess makes mistakes. There's so many God I hate my wife jokes. This is... This game has the fucking humor of a dad from the 70s. Hey, new customers. We're, you're gonna love it here. Tamar's clean water makes for some great liquor. Any of you want a sample sip to taste what I'm talking about? Gets my personal belief system to turn down free booze. I'm honor bound to accept your invitation, kind barkeep. I don't think so, Kyle. You've never been able to use the words one and beer in the same sentence. Been my experience with any city with clean water that with clean water. That any city with clean water has great liquor, and is full of beautiful women. Yes, and they get more beautiful with each drink, right, Kyle, dear? The boy in the weapon shop is going to take me with him to the Lost Woods and show me a big secret. Do you think the secret in the woods is a big pile of treasure? Or maybe it's a really big pile of candy? Yeah! I wouldn't go with strangers. Welcome. If it's a battle you're waging, then stock up on armor first and worry about striking later. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm losing my mind. What did I tell you? Come back again when you're ready for more savings. Alright, we use the fountain. The woods that lie south of Tamura are called the Lost Woods. It's always blanketed in a thick fog. When I was younger, I'd go there with my boyfriend to make out because we wouldn't get caught. Of course, that was before all the monsters appeared. Fascinating. The woods, I mean, it sounds unusual. Even magical. Most of the travelers who try to get through the Lost Woods come back here in a hurry, but a few of them never come back. Maybe they're just lost, or worse. If you kids are looking for a place to explore the manifestation of your raging hormones interactively, I would definitely suggest the peace and tranquility of the Lost Woods. But be on the lookout for the occasional monster. There ain't a person in town who ain't talking about the Vile Tribe. I better be buying me some weapons and armor before they ain't nothing left to buy. I ain't at all happy with how close the village is to the frontier. And I ain't got no idea what weapon I should get. You know what? There are fairies in the woods to the south. Oops, that was supposed to be my super secret. Too late now. I want to see those fairies again. 
Welcome. If it's a battle you're waging, then stock up on weapons first and worry about protection later. These these two are in a feud. <laughs> Wind sword, judgment mace. With all the vile tribe activity, my sales are way up. M my r morale is way down. Welcome to the Tamer Hello Hotel. Can I interest you? What's that? You're not looking for a room? <sighs> of course you're not. No one travels here since the vile tribes started acting up. I'm thinking of changing this place from a hotel into something more profitable. Good idea? Bad idea? Well, hi. What brings you to Tamur? I traveled here after graduating from the Magic Guild. I just needed to get away from the big floating city for a while and have fun exploring the world. I'm amazed this little town has a hotel. I thought it'd be getting up... Setting up camp under a tree or something. You slogged all the way here from Berg? Ooh, doggy. You must have gone through a heap of shoes on that trip. The village of the Prairie Tribe called Peo is just south of the Lost Woods. When I was a wee lad, I remember the woods as a very confusing place. But a fairy always seemed to appear and show me the way if I got lost. My husband says the Vile Tribe is nothing to worry about, but I think they're preparing to attack. They want to take revenge on the goddess and on her children. On us! My husband's too optimistic. If he'd stop and think about it, he'd know I was right. Maybe he just wants to ignore the truth instead of accepting it. Long ago, an adventurer passing through Tamur told me that the Vile Tribe lived on the frontier. I worried for a long time about what those monsters were doing out there. I don't wonder or worry about the Vile Tribe anymore, but my poor wife does. What are you doing back here? <laughs> this is exactly why I can't quit selling phony medicine. Profits are incredible and requires little, if any, investment. This must be one of those basic fundamentals of commerce. This guy really gives me the creeps, Alex. Let's go. I'm running low in medicine. Hmm. Let's grind up that tree over there and make some more. This place north of here is called... The place north of here is called Might's Tower. A creepy place calling with monsters. Yuck. Place north of here is called... Okay. Hey. Well met, children. Long time no see. Laika, what are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> Why, the look of surprise, my fox feline friend. Bo? You should know by now that I'm a lone wolf now. I travel wherever the wind and my will beckon. But enough about me. How have you fared in your adventure, my friends? Check it out, Lai. Laika? Alex got the blue dragon helmet. Ah, you met the blue dragon. Impressive, Alex. I expected no less of you. All that remains for you now is to meet the black dragon and gain its prize. Once you have accomplished that, you shall achieve what you most desire. You shall become a full-fledged dragon master. Stuff of legends, my boy. The only fly in the ointment is that none of us have a clue about where to look. My mother once said that the lair of the Black Dragon was located on the frontier, but that it was guarded jealously by the Vile Tribe. She also said that the only way to get there was by flying. I don't know anything about finding the Black Dragon, but I can help you get airborne. There's an old inventor named Might who lives in this neck of the woods. He's a bit strange, but if you ask, asked him, I knew he... He could easily build a flying machine for you. The only problem is that Might isn't really a people person, so you can't go all so you can't all go to see him. One of you will be more than sufficient for this job. So what do you say, Alex? Are you up for a trip to Might's Tower? Sounds exciting, Alex. Are you going with him? I think I'll stay here with everyone. Hmm. Well I can't say your lack of enthusiasm doesn't disappoint me, Alex. But if you have a change of heart, you can find me around here for a while longer. 
Like it should have just about shows up just about everywhere we go, Alex. How does that old man manage to get around so fast? For some reason, we have lots of wild horses in this area of the Stadius region. People of Peo have learned their way, learned to make their living by taming them. Every tribe can be stubborn, but as long as you're honest with them, they'll treat you with respect. I wonder how this horse would taste since it only eats carrots. Probably not as good as fish. Lost Woods, Might's Tower. Where'd you go? Of course you're going for a drink. <laughs> Uh, real quick. Hey, this place is finally fixed up. Finally got a chance to meet Mel. Someone turned him to stone before I found his office. I'm going to chip off a piece of him as a souvenir. How'd you like a piece of me, you jerk? Jessica, please don't. He looks like a bleeder. I'm so sorry, Jessica. Bane is being attacked by the Vile Tribe again? I knew they didn't like the Magic Guild. Bane is safer than it's ever been, sir. Me and myself are proud members of the Guild. Also, there are many other mages of lesser skill as well. Restores become my home away from home. I just can't get enough of the bunny babes. Ramus' dad could hear this ray review. Welcome to Ramus' store, green eyes. Anything new? Nope, you still sell the same garbage. You, on the other hand, there's still more. Want to see, Alex? I've got to know who my competition is if they want to stay in business. Buy all this stuff. Thanks for shopping, Alex. You're definitely one of my most valued customers. Hey, Alex, how are you doing? You must be really close to becoming a Dragon Master. Can I ask you a favor? Ask you to rescue Luna. Let's go back to Berg. I'd like to see my dad again. Oh, huh, it doesn't let me shop from him again. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Reminiscer. Yep, it's all the cutscenes. The trap. <laughs> Terrible dream. Tempest and Fresca. Ah. Huh. Zenobia Bromide. He's surrounded by leopards? Asia, birds and legs. Mm. Royce. Snake. Why is Royce? Okay, so... I don't know if I mentioned it. Actually, I'm pretty sure I did. But, like... Their evil reveal, them showing like, ah, oh, we've been evil all along, was just them taking off their clothes. Which is almost comedic in a way. But then Fossia, like... Like, Zenobia and Royce are basically showing tit. But Fossia is just like, oh, I'll show you a bit of my arm. <laughs> it's almost comical. Of heroism. Good song. Also, I just realized something. Reminiscer. There's not much left, it looks like. 
at least compared to what's come before, we're approaching the end. Cool. Like two or three more videos and we'll be done, it seems. I'm not 100% sure, but that that's what it seems like. That's nice, at least. Birds and legs, cat scratch fever, a poisonous beauty. And then Nash's treasure, the playful wind. Isn't Nash's treasure just Mia taking her shoes off? Just Nash is a feet guy? <laughs> Hang on, I have to remember. No, not exactly. Still. Hmm. Ugh. Okay. Two angel rings. I could sell those. I want to sell one of the wrath, wrath rings, too. Either way... I think I am going to end it here for right now. Let's use the dragon wings and head back to Tamur. And next time, uh, I guess we'll go to Might's Tower since that's where the game wants me to go. There's the Lost Woods and the Forbidden Woods um, that we can go to. I don't know... The, the Forbidden Woods might be something else. I'm not sure. It might be like an optional, like, dungeon. I feel like that's wrong, though. I, I should look up if there's optional content, and if there is, how much there is. Um, I don't think there's optional content in this game, but I'll look it up just to make sure. Uh, but yeah, that is, ooh, gonna be it for now. Next time, we will tackle Might's Tower, and then probably also the Lost Woods, and maybe the Forbidden Woods as well. That'll be then. Right now, we're done. Thank you for watching, especially if you got this far, and stick around, because there's a lot more to come.